Okay, Southwest, are you ready? ready? Blue Pony 2 said hi. Okay, team, today's show is all about sports. On today's show, we have an investigator report on sports in schools. An informative sports spot with Josh. Plus, all the campus news you need to know to get a home run on your report card. But before we can do that, let's huddle up and take the first play of the day. Let's go to today in history and the word of the day. Thanks, Rachel. Rebecca, do you know I can catch football with my right hand and my left hand? Really? That was me and you're an ambidextrous. Yeah, and good job using the word of the day, by the way. Thanks. Sports in schools may help kids stay motivated, but in middle school, there are not many opportunities to play sports. So let's go to Rachel again to see why opportunities are so limited. Thanks, Casey. You know, Rachel, all this talk about football makes me want to be in the NFL one day. Wow, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. The next Brett Favre is right here. To know more about this NFL world, let's go to Josh with the 30-second sports spot. Great sports spot, Josh, and great game, team. I think this show deserves a touchdown. I'm Rachel. And I'm Rebecca. We're at SBN News. Good morning, Southwest. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Rachel. Rebecca, don't you just love the smell of chocolate in the morning? Well, Rachel, chocolate isn't something that I usually smell in the morning. But today's a different story. That's right. Today we're here at Ferris and Foster's Chocolate Factory at Lakeside Village. It may not be Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, but it is still a pretty delicious place to come. You'll hear more about this chocolate factory later in the show. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, you're in for a pretty sweet show today. Grace is on location at a flower shop. Sammy has the full on one on what's going on around campus. Josh's sports spot is sure to twinkle pink. And Bree's report on this chocolate factory is sure to make your taste buds go wow. So let's start off this delectable morning with Casey's Corner. Thanks, Casey. Valentine's Day is only two days away, and time is running out to buy that special someone that perfect gift. But Grace is here to help. She's on location at Flowers by Edith, a flower shop in Lakeland. She has an idea for a gift that's original, and everybody loves getting them. Grace? Four tenth of girls will be getting flowers for Valentine's Day this year. With all the talk around school being about the day of romance, I pretty much have no idea what's going on around campus. To fix that problem, let's go to Campus News. Hey Rachel, you know how some girls pretend to be into something they know nothing about just so a guy will like them? You mean like pretending they know everything about cards or sports? Yeah, exactly. So girls, make sure you listen at this sports spot so you can impress your guy with all your sports knowledge this Valentine's Day. Thanks, Josh. So Rebecca, are you taking notes? Um, no. I don't know all that stuff about football. And the other sports. Yeah, right. You know what? Anyways, Ferris and Foster's Chocolate Factory is a great place for birthday parties, school events, and even a great hangout spot for you and your friends. It contains all different types of chocolate, including Orange Lando Bloom, a chocolate containing orange cream, to your Yippee Skippy, a piece of chocolate with a smooth peanut butter taste. This chocolate factory has almost all the chocolate you can think of. For more on this amazing chocolate factory, let's go to Brie Langley. Thanks, Brie. That was really delicious. That pretty much wraps up the show for today, Southwest. I'm Rachel. And I'm Rebecca. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Rise and shine, Southwest. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Rachel. And we're on a mission to survive in the wilderness. Wilderness, Rachel? Really? No, we're just on your average camping trip. So, they don't know that? Anyway, on today's show, you'll map out your information with Campus News. Tax history with Today in History. And visit the SBN campsite with Justinia. So let's kick this morning off with Campus News. Rachel, I have no idea why we didn't bring any bug spray. You're the one who didn't put it on the list. Do I have to do everything around here? Uh, no. I was the one who set up the tent, built the fire, and left all the okay. here. I think they get it. Let's just go to Savannah with Today in History. Rebecca, don't you just love camping? The fresh air, beautiful scenery, the feeling of being so close to nature. Isn't it wonderful? Well, if you mean the bugs, the dirt, and the smell, then I totally love it. This brings me back to the day of the best fan the summer camp. What? Best fan summer camp was nothing like this. Then let's go to Jacinia to see what it really was like. It looks like our camping trip is coming to an end. So sad. Sad? I can't wait to get back to civilization. In fact, you can clean all this up, and I'll meet you back at the house. What? No, Rebecca, I'm leaving all your stuff here. Come back. Ugh!
Good morning, Southwest. Today is Thursday, October 23rd, 2009. I'm Rachel. And I'm Rebecca. And we're here at Circle B Bar Reserve for an environmentally friendly 5K race. You'll see a report telling more about that with Rachel Watson later in the show. You'll also see Canvas News with Josh back in the studio. A Today in History. And a report on what Circle B Bar really is. Before we get too busy, let's find out what happened today in history. Thanks, McKenna. With everything that's going on around campus, it's hard to keep things straight. So let's go back to the studio for Canvas News. Hey Josh, how's it going on around campus? Great, except it's not fair how you guys get to explore a new park while I'm stuck giving the news from the studio. Yeah, it is pretty great that we get to work on our tans while filming. So what's going on around school? Thanks Josh, Canvas is a great way to keep me caught up on all the events happening at school. You know Rebecca, there is so much we can do here at Circle B Bar. You're right. In fact, there's a 5K run happening today. Our very own Rachel Watson is covering the event. Hey Rachel, it looks like people are starting to gather. Yeah, that's right. The Lake and Runners Club is sponsoring an eco-friendly race. Eco-friendly? How can a 5K run be eco-friendly? Thanks Rachel, it's great how people can care so much about our environment. The Circle Bee Bar Reserve isn't just a place for a race. It's a place where families can come and learn about our environment and have fun at the same time. So let's learn more about the Circle Bee Bar Reserve with this report. It's been fun hanging out here at the Circle Bee Bar Reserve. But we have to go back to school. Thank you to the Lakeland Runners Club and the Circle Bee Bar Reserve for inviting us out here today. Have a great day, Southwest. Good morning, Southwest. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Rachel. And aren't you excited? Because today's the last day of school before Thanksgiving break. For the next week, you'll get to be out of school, eat a lot of pumpkin pie, and maybe even carve that big old turkey. But before we can do that, let's get into day in history. Thanks, Rachel. With Thanksgiving break being the talk of the school, I have no idea what's going on around campus. To fix that, let's go to Campus News with McKenna. Thanks, McKenna. I think I'm all caught up. You know, Rachel, Thanksgiving is a time of year to really think about the things you're thankful for. Uh, yeah, that's why it's called Thanksgiving. But think about it this way. Some people don't have a home or family to spend Thanksgiving with. They may even be spending their Thanksgiving in a homeless shelter. However, Rebecca, homeless shelters like Lighthouse Ministries make Thanksgiving a happy time for people using their facilities. That's just great. Let's find out more about that with Josh. Thanks, Josh. That was really heartwarming. That really makes me think about how fortunate I am to be spending Thanksgiving with my family. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. See you back at Southwest after the break. Have, have a great, great day, day, Southwest. Tis Thanksgiving, let's eat turkey. Fa la 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 la. But don't hug it all and be a turkey. Fa la 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 la. Happy Thanksgiving from Holy Cow Productions. What an exhilarating workout! Yeah, this has really made me realize that I need to get into shape. Kids like us need about 60 minutes a day of our time to exercising. Physical activities like bike riding, swimming, or even running around your neighborhood are great ways to exercise. If you don't maintain a well-balanced diet and exercise regularly, you have a chance of becoming obese. Obesity is a common eating disorder for teens, and in just two decades, the percent of obese teens has tripled. Between 16 and 33 percent of teens are obese. This condition is responsible for 300,000 deaths each year. If your parent is considered obese, then you have a chance of becoming obese yourself. A few extra pounds does not suggest obesity, but if you're overweight now, you have an 80 percent chance of becoming obese as an adult. Obese teens usually have a low self-esteem and suffer from depression, anxiety, and overcompulsive disorder. But being overweight is the least of their problems. Obese teens also suffer from name calling, rejection from peers, and other harsh treatment at their school and in their community. Obesity is a disease that is really easy to avoid. Just be sure to exercise and eat right. This has been Rachel and Rebecca for SBN News. schedule and you see that eighth period you have band. You need your music book, instrument, and excellent talent to succeed in this class. 
You already have that talent, but where are you going to buy that perfect instrument and the music book that will guide you throughout your studies? Carlton's Music Store, of course! Students who choose not to buy an instrument can rent one. The Southwest Middle School Band recently earned superior ratings at the Music Performance Assessment. Mr. Kayer, the band director, also thinks very fondly of Carlton's. So whenever you have a musical need, you'll know where to come. This has been Rebecca and Rachel for SBN News. News. It's the weather girl, weather girl, weather girl, weather! Thanks, Rachel. Let's start with traffic. There was a major traffic jam between C and H wing causing a backup all the way to B wing, so we suggest you take an alternative route. There was an accident near F wing early this morning when an 8th grader ran into a, an innocent 6th grader. The hallways were backed up for about 15 minutes. The incident has now been moved to the sides. There's only a minor delay there. Traffic by the jam is running smoothly. Traffic cams are showing congestion inside E-Wing, so give yourself a little extra time. Rebecca, what's the weather like today? It's sunny! That was the weather girl, weather girl, weather girl, weather! Good morning all you sunshiny students, I'm Rebecca. And I'm Rachel. And isn't today a fantastic, fabulous, terrific day? No, no it's not. What's raining on your parade? Well, I fell on the stairs this morning, TP squirted all over me so I had to change. Then I missed the bus, but the worst thing of all is I forgot to eat breakfast. I'm sorry for your misfortune, but just put on your happy face and go through the rest of the day with your head held high. Anyways, on today's show... You'll the fantastic show! You'll see a... Wally Dally Campus News! With McKenna Lewis... A totally terrific Today in History! With Rachel Watson... And, and a commercial that is full of happiness, excitingness, and joyfulness! Let's just go ahead to that totally terrific Today in History. Thanks, Rachel! Rebecca, I know I'll get you down. Intrams go out today. Oh, I know I got straight A's. I know, I know, I know. So there's nothing to worry about. Ugh. Let's get all the news with McKenna Lewis with Campus News. Thanks, McKenna. Oh, Rebecca, I think you had way too many cups of joy this morning. You think so? I mean, I only had seven. I only had five. But today I thought I should be super happy, so I had two extra cups. But I really don't notice a difference. Do you? No, I don't notice a difference at all. See, two extra cups of joy doesn't make a big difference. I think you should try a cup. Yeah, seriously, watch the commercial. Wow, wow, wow. Wasn't that an awesome commercial? Are you going to try a cup and I've seen those satisfied customers? Sure, why not? What do I got to lose? Okay, hey Watson, pass me the cup. I usually save it until after lunch, but you can have it now. Oh my gosh, that was great, great, great. That was fantastic, delicious, the best thing I've ever tasted. I told you it was good. You're right, it so was. I hope that all these Southwest students have a terrific day. I know I will. Wow, Rachel, you're more joyful than I am. I gotta get me another cup of joy. Yeah, see you later, Southwest. Hope you have a fantastic, fabulous, terrific day. I bet you've noticed the posters around school advertising the children's book drive. Under the direction of Ms. Kennedy and Ms. Peterson, youth and action is collecting books to deliver to a local church and the daycare center at Lighthouse Ministries. Most of the children don't even have books at home. That's why this book drive is so important. It introduces the young kids to the world of reading. This book drive is also helping out youth and action kids help out in their community. That book you've got hiding under your bookshelf, it's time to give it a new life. In the hands of a young child who needs it. Donate your books today. I'm Rachel. And I'm Rebecca. For SBN News.